We begin with a sex assault arrest. A teen accused of drugging and raping a 15-year-old girl who's hospitalized in critical condition. And police believe there could be more victims out there. Local 10 News reporter Syra Anwar is live with the disturbing details. Syra. Nicole and Calvin, that teen is still here in critical condition at Nicholas Children's Hospital where she was transferred. This 15-year-old was drugged, raped, and a video of her naked and unconscious was streamed live on Instagram. We're not sure that she's going to make it or not. Police arrested 18-year-old Jorge Martinez Wednesday on charges of sexual assault, delivering drugs to a minor, and obscene communication relevant to pornography. Martinez's arrest form says he gave the teen victim two Percocet pills at a party she threw at a home in this Miramar neighborhood, and then made a video that he posted to social media where he discusses having sex with the minor, saying she's perked out in reference to the Percocet pills. The arrest form says... The video then suddenly cuts to an image of a naked female lying face down on a couch. The female is not moving. She was without oxygen to her brain for about 28 minutes, uh, organ failure, uh, internal bleeding. We are now hearing from a teen who says he was at the party. Brandon Descent saying he saw Martinez interacting with the victim. I see the uh, Instagram live, him toying with her almost lifeless body. Uh, that messed me up. A Miramar detective in court Thursday morning saying by not calling 911, Martinez and others made matters worse. The defendant and other associates could have taken her to a hospital much closer. Witnesses who saw the video, they say Martinez posted to Instagram, later getting into a physical fight at the home of Martinez shortly before he was arrested. You can see injuries to his face in his mugshot. Descent says he hit Martinez in the mouth. I'm glad that, you know, one, I got to, you know, get a few licks in and that uh, he ended up in handcuffs in, in uh, Broward County uh, Jail. So the judge for Martinez this morning set his bond at just over half a million dollars. If he bonds out, he can't uh, have any contact with minors or that victim. He would have to wear a GPS ankle monitor. But police say Martinez could have more victims out there. So if you know of any other victims out there, be sure to contact Miramar Police. That's the latest live in Miami. Syra Onward, Local 10 News.